How you doing folks? Well, it's a rainy Sunday and I'm outside my parents' house and uh, my beetle is behind me here. And if you remember correctly, I was having issues with one of the idle jets on my Weber carburetors being blocked. So I've decided that uh, despite the fact that it's raining and I'm outdoors, I'm gonna have a bit of a look at it. So I'll show you what I've, um, what I've discovered so far. So you'll see here, I've uh, kind of jumped ahead. I've got the carb top removed already, okay? So that, remo that involved, first of all, removing the plate that the air filter goes onto, which is held on by four uh, nuts on long studs that uh, go onto these lads here. And then there are five uh, flathead screws that come out. Now, there is a location on Weber carburetors, which causes, which is a common source of problems. This lad here, and this lad here, okay? Now there is a kit you can get called a Jet Doctor, which basically extends that pipe up through the plate, through these holes here, and up into the air filter housing. Because what happens is, that's right down in a little well there, okay? And what can happen is dirt gets in there. And when dirt gets in there, that's down into the idle circuit of the carburetor, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, from what I can tell, there is actually a blockage in there. So I'm gonna actually just get a needle in a sewing kit. <laughs> Listen, I have to work with what I have here, folks, okay? I don't have access to my compressor. You'll see the idle jet there as well, okay? Um, so I'm gonna try, try and pop that out as well if I need to. But first of all, let's just try and uh, poke that out and see if um, there is any obvious blockage. And while I'm at it, I'll do that one there as well. But um, you can see why, uh, why that's something of a design flaw. Now what I'll do is I'll actually get a piece of tubing rather than buying the jet doctor kit i'm literally just going to get a piece of tubing and i'm going to solder it in there and bring it up into it and then that'll that'll you know it only needs to be about an inch long and that resolves that issue and uh, stops it from getting blocked because i've had unending trouble with these things getting blocked so this is the type of uh, sewing needle you would uh, sew a button onto a shirt with if you were that way inclined i'm literally just gonna work it down into there a bit it's probably not enough to do the job, but given the fact that I did, I'm working on what I have, we're gonna try it and see what happens, okay? So. Just trying to kind of work it around there, you know? And I'm gonna pop out the idle jet there now as well, and I'm gonna have a look and see what the situation is with that. Um, the idle jet is, somewhat difficult to get at where it is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a flathead bit on my uh quarter drive ratchet and we'll see if we can get that out so um i don't see how i'm going to do that uh, single-handed while i'm holding the camera so uh, and god knows where my camera tripod is at this moment in time either i'll see if i can film it in my infinite wisdom i drilled a hole inside the inner wing at one stage so i was able to actually get a screwdriver in through there so i'm gonna just take that out Okay, so that's loose now. So just get my big uh, hand fists in there and remove it the rest of the way and see if it's blocked. Very important to have your tongue sticking out at the right angle while you're doing this. There we go. And are we looking at a blocked jet? Let's... certainly doesn't look blocked to me so that would suggest to me that the actual idle circuit itself is actually blocked in there now what I would like to do is I'd like to get a compressor with a piece of tubing on it and actually get a and blow the hell out of that there and uh, try and uh, clear the passages but uh, what with the fact that I haven't got a compressor it's not a huge amount I can do I might see if there's a bit of WD-40 knocking around and just even give it a shot of that you know because maybe that's enough this is a piece of uh, that kind of raw plug tubing that you cut to length um, and uh, I can blow through it. <laughs> That's about all I can find. If I was looking for a, a bottle of plant food or something like that, I'd probably be in, in business in my, uh, my dad's shed, but uh, that's not much use to me, to be honest with you, at this moment in time. So we'll just see if I can uh, blow through this into the, uh, into the carb a little bit and hopefully clear a bit of blockage, but we'll, we'll give it a go and see. I doubt it'll do anything, but sure, look. It's worth the go. Work with what you have, folks. You know yourself. <laughs> The tagline on my channel says, from the sublime to the ridiculous. I think this is definitely uh, edging towards the ridiculous. It's a 
friend of mine came, <laughs> came up with that uh, that saying. I actually really do like it. So uh, yeah, I, I don't think this is going to do a trick, but sure, look, it will. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'll try and get it in at the other um, at the, the opening for the jet. Try and get it in there too. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got pretty much everything together again, aside from just the uh, air filter top, which is uh, hanging down here. But um, just for clarity, by the way, you don't need to remove the carb top. You only need to remove the uh, the, the base plate for the air filter in order to actually get at those um, those little uh, uh, ports in the top of the carb. But uh, the reason I removed the carb top was just basically to visually check and see if there was anything awry, and also to see what was actually involved in putting in those uh, jet doctors, or if I need if I or if I was able to actually uh, modify it, so I, modify it myself without having to buy a kit. And I think I can, to be honest with you. I mean, a little bit of brake, uh, brake pipe and some JB weld will probably do the trick, to tell you the truth. So uh, that might be the route we'll go down. Um, I'll have a think about that anyway. But at the moment, it's a disaster the way they've designed that. I mean, you can completely see, um, if you look here, that the dirt can get in underneath the carb, uh, the, the base plate. And it's, it's creating a passage for dirt to get in and wedge. And any water or anything like that that makes its way in will also go in there. So it explains the reason why the, jet, the idle jets always get blocked in these carbs. So a uh, simple modification that can be quickly uh, quickly implemented. So yeah, I mean, look, at, we'll, we'll do it at a later stage. Hopefully anyway, this has uh, sorted out the problem. So let's, uh, let's get the engine started and see how it sounds. Right, moment of truth. Here it's down on one cylinder there anyway. See it won't idle at all while it's cold when it's down on one cylinder like that. So my foot's on the accelerator a little bit there, just keep it going. It makes it pretty undrivable when it's cold, like you're trying to reverse off the drive when the engine just will not idle on uh, will not idle for you. And it was never like that when the uh, when the cards are not blocked. Oh, and by the way, I did take the main jets out while I was at it and uh, check them, and they were clear. So there's uh, there's no issue with them. Let's let's go out and have a look. get it to stay running and use the vacuum pressure of the engine. See what I mean? I think a good blowout with a compressor, maybe a belt of an ultrasonic bath might be what's needed here. There's a little leak in the exhaust I need to check out as well. I do like those gauges there, I have to say. I think they look the business. I'll install a stereo at a later stage and this will go in the uh, glove box. Okay, it's idling now. Flat four engines get very unhappy when they're uh, not idling on four cylinders. You can see it kind of rocking back and forth. They just get unbalanced. Now, I'm gonna pull the HT leads off. Start number three cylinder. No difference, see? Eh? So that's our cylinder, it's down. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna rev the engine up and we're gonna cover the cover the intake with it revved. Hopefully it'll blow it 
screw the idle mixture screw and uh, have a look in there. Could be worth the gold. What have we got to lose? It's not running anyway. We'll do that. You're sitting on the window ledge there, by the way. Right, two and a half turns out. Let's have a look and see how it gets on there. Won't do anything. Go ahead. list. 